How do I look there? Fit to go. I'm looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as soon as I'm done with him, I'll give you a call so you know how he went. How are you today? Could be better. Yeah, I'm sure. You, you look worried and duller than your usual lively self. What's the problem? Is Papa all right? But we had a long and short night. We were really scared for his life last night. So his condition worsened that nobody told me? Huh? Why? What kind of thing is that? Brother, Faith seemed to be playing games with us last night because the network simply backed up. We couldn't connect anybody. That's not an excuse. You don't use network as an excuse. You could have reached me somehow. So how did you manage yourself? Sister Lorita was around. She took control. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. So well. Brother. The reason I came is to inform you that I'll be heading back to school. Oh, really? Yes. And I will need a total sum of 90,000 naira to sort myself. 90,000 naira? School has turned to something else these days. School has always been expensive. Well, peace. I don't have the kind of money you are demanding now. I'll give you what I have, you go back to school, then I'll look for how to make up the rest, okay? Whatever you told me, the money will be ready today. Hmm. Well... When you enter into the real world, peace, then you will realize that man proposes, but economy, economy disposes. He was saying such jargons like man proposes, the economy disposes. And it was obvious the economy he meant was that his gold digging wife. Chile. So when did our brother become such a big fool? Eh? Hmm. Those brand of fools are called woman rapper. Woman rapper? But, but how can he? How can he not? How can he? A boy born and bred in the city. Another village girl of yesterday in Kenya. Now rule his life and, and, and control his relationship with his family. It will make sense. Hey. That is if she does not have a plan and is executing it. We must swing into action before our brother turns into a toy in her handbag. He said you ought to see him more. He was acting as if he, he, his money belongs to his wife. <laughs> Hey, stop crying. Gini, wipe your tears. Is it not Jonathan? Jonah? Oh, Jonah. Our brother. Eh? Okay. Oh, Jonah. <laughs> he will come and see Papa now. We'll go treat him for good. Don't worry. That you're shelving your responsibilities in order to please that your village wife. Ah, I see where this is coming from. This is a conspiracy, right? What do you, what, what do you people take me for? Eh? The man in the family that has decided to be a toy in his wife's handbag. That is what you are. Nketi, I warn you. Mind your language, okay? Mind your language. I am your elder brother. I'm not a small boy. <laughs> Of course now, you're not a small boy. You're a big man who has decided not to live up to his responsibilities because he had a Jezebel for a wife. I forbid you. My wife is not a Jezebel. She is a Jezebel. 
Is that why you're treating your younger sister like a beggar? And for your information, that money that makes you a big man actually belongs to Papa. Loretta, no, Loretta, give me a break. You see, to run business in this country is not easy. It's, it's not a tea party. I must make sure at all times that the accounts are balanced. <laughs> no, no, on top of your wife's head, Abby. Because tell that to the Marines. I don't blame you. Nketi, I don't blame you. You, see, you. you girls must realize that managing money is not easy. It's not giving. Are you kidding about girls? Do you realize I'm your elder sister? Let me tell you something, Jonathan. I am not asking you for money. All I am asking you is to take care of your younger sister's education. Papa? Hey, Papa, what are you doing out here now? Eh? The doctor said you should take a bed rest. Papa, how are you? I will be better if you, Jonathan, will decide to be a good captain to this team. Look, I was in the house hearing your voices and I just came out to tell you that I'm disappointed, greatly disappointed with you. No, no, Papa, Papa, please don't be disappointed. I, I was only trying to uh, explain to them, to make them understand that they should give me a little more time. In a football team, the captain of the team is usually drawn from the oldest players. But there is something much more to a captain than just the oldest player. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll do my best, Papa. I'll try. For the last time, Jonathan, I warn you. I could have been in a better health condition. If I'm sure you do your duties diligently. Be a good captain, Jonathan. I, I will, Papa. Please. I, I will. I, I assure you, I will. Hmm. I don't know why you're wasting your time. You shouldn't have bothered coming out. It's not Jonathan. You know the no, 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 no. The customers cannot say they will not release the goods. I have pressed all the necessary buttons that is needed to be pressed. Officer, what else do you expect me to do? Just tell me. What do you expect me to do? Oh, this is my own life coming before me. Oh, God. Ah, I'm finished. What is it? Stop saying all these harsh words. You are not ruined that you will not die. The way it is, a dead man is better than me. What is a man if all he owns is being taken away from him? How many times, how many times have I told you that this life is not about material things? You know it's not true. Soon I won't be able to pay the bills. What exactly is the problem? The problem is that you won't even allow me to finish and you won't listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish how you want to jeopardize our life and the future of our children because you have sisters. Ugochi, you're getting it all wrong. I only gave her that 100,000 naira to please my father. You want to please your father and displease your home. Just listen to yourself. Everything we have, everything I own, came from my father. But it's your right! You don't have to throw your right away! I'm not throwing away anything. I only paid school fees for my little sister. That's all. You call this little sister? You call that one little girl? Her mates are married. And those not married know how to pay their bills. Ugochi, did you realize what you just said? I'll be a company fool if I don't know what I've said. So you want my sister to go into prostitution to pay her bills? Oh, that's a wicked and heartless thing to say. So, I am now a wicked and heartless woman? Eh? We shall see. Come to think of it, you didn't even ask about father. He's lying down there ill, and you don't even bother about him. If you go to Boma, why? If you go to Boma, why? Me, 
Mua, a wicked and heartless woman. Akuya, I am now a wicked and heartless woman. Why do you forgive me? I'm so engrossed with this my problem that I didn't bother to ask after your father's heart. He seems to be doing well each time he notices that there's some form of unity amongst his children. You know, I, I'm beginning to think his ailment is both physical and psychological. I do not understand it. You must have seen the way he reacted, the way he lit up when we told him Jonathan had paid Mrs. School fees. In that case, you don't have to let him know what has happened to me so that he will not get his condition aggravated. <sighs> Thank you. But I'll still talk to Jonathan. He's the one in charge of his business. Well, your brother has little or no regard for me. You just have to know how you present the case. Hmm. JD, these are desperate situations and it calls for desperate solution. Okay? Yeah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What do you want from a wicked and heartless woman? Darling, you're taking this thing too far. I didn't mean it that way. I mean everything I say. And I expect you to do the same. Alright. I'm sorry. I'm genuinely and deeply sorry. You know, these past few days have been very trying for me. And how is that my fault? Am I supposed to pay for your refusal to be man enough to do what is right? I am trying to do the right thing. You see, father's businesses don't belong to me alone. They belong to the entire family. I'm only a supervisor. Suddenly you have become a weakling. Since when did your father's businesses belong to you and women? Hey! My dear, put yourself in their shoes. You will probably do the same thing. I can never wear the shoes of those who will never mind their homes. Alright, honey, let it pass. Huh? Let it pass. Remember what the marriage counselors told us before we wedded in church? If couples fight relentlessly and constantly, the devil will come in between and the crisis will escalate. We don't want that, do we? Is it what the marriage counselor says or what you want? Uh, even if it's what I want, uh -huh. is this not my birthright? Um, are you not my wife? Uh, I come. Leave me, leave me alone, Apakwanamaka. It's high time you marry your sisters. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Ka Onye na nu mani, bebe lo chuku. Onu apogiko, ifa na na fu. Ajo wanya magini, o magi wane. Ajo wani bata, udono wa baba. Chidi kum to bed now. Sleep takes flight when a man is hopeless. Oh. How would you refer to yourself as hopeless? I'm just, I'm just taking a little more time to talk to my brother, that's all. Something tells me it's going to be a dead end. Nothing will come out of it. Chidi, you have not even tried. You're already giving up. Where is your face? Eh? He told me how you all fought him to pay your sister's school fees. Someone who is not married. So? There are people that are like that now. Like what? That you have to fight them before you get something from them. That's not the issue with us. You have me and that's all that matters. Well, I have to look for a way out. If I become a laughing stock among my friends. Really? Chido. See, whatever that comes to a man is equal to a man. I, I, I want you to be the man here. Relax, take your drink. Just take your drink. This one passed me, I swear. You know, I couldn't tell you much on the phone. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said something about the, the custom. Have you paid and retrieved your goods? Aloysius, the truth is that I am finished. I am ruined. I didn't know that the government recently included those goods on the list of bound items. As I speak to you now, they are contraband. Man, that's too bad. Honestly. But all the same to do, I don't think there is enough reason for the son in love to face in there to see that he's win. I mean, you've got someone to follow. Relax, take your drink, yeah? We all know that my father in law has long retired from active business. I know now. Jonathan is there now. He should play the role of the father. Take your drink. Don't just go there. Johnson don't even have an iota of respect for me. Aloysius, you're my friend. Please, if I can lay my hands on one million naira, I'll bounce back to business. Uh, it's not as if that the money is too much. But, uh, you know, now you're my friend. My wedding is just two months from now. Boy, I'm spending. I can't bring out such amount of money to you now. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. I'm sorry. Aloysius, I'm feeling for you, uh, but, but if you understand me, I'm spending. My wedding is just two months from now. I'm sorry, please. Please, boy, try drink something. Drink something first. Eh? There, there's no cause for that. Drink something. Why you can't do something? You have refused to eat your food. Food is the last thing on my mind now. My appetite died the day my business died. Yeah, she did. Your business is not dead. Only real men fall today and rise tomorrow. What I see is a dark tunnel. So dark that where it lit is hell. Why are you talking like this? You and I know that as dark as a tunnel appears to be, there's always light at the end of it. Please. Eat something, so you can have some strength. Kichi, you're an angel. I would like to believe you. Come in. Good day, sir. Good day, madam. Good day. I'm Barrister Rahim Abbas, from the High Court. Yeah, from the High Court, right? Yes, sir. So my landlord has carried out his threat to evict me. Your landlord is a very magnanimous man. He gave us instruction not to throw your properties out, only if you can raise the money within 48 hours. How does he expect me to raise the money I could not raise in six months within 48 hours? You have to raise the money, else you leave us with no choice but to evict you. Wait, 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 wait. Chidi, when did this get to this point? Why didn't you tell me? You know, I was working very hard to raise the rent. I considered it my obligation. I didn't want to throw away. Mr. Lawyer, you said we have 48 hours, right? Yes, ma'am. 48 hours. Your landlord is a very kind man. You have a very strange definition of kindness. Um, we will get the money ready on or before 48 hours. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much. You know. your, your name is Mr. Barista Rahim Abbas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse Thank you. me. Why, why didn't you say anything to me? Yes, sit down, sit down. Consider it my obligation, just sit down. Mama go. What is it? Come. Sit 
down, please. Is it back? I was with him last night, and when I left him, he was stable. He's no papa. Papa is okay. Then, why, why, why are you crying? Why do you come to my shop crying? Because my husband and I were in trouble. What kind of trouble would make you cry in the streets? The house. They're about to throw us out of our house. Ever since my husband's business went on that, we've been finding it very difficult to pay house rent. Now the court came this morning to throw us out. Oh. Why are all these things happening to us? Papa's illness, Jonathan's irresponsibility, and now this. Have you spoken to Jonathan? He's not picking my calls. He's not picking my calls. I sent him a text. He said he was going to bring the money for me today. I'll be calling him after that. He won't pick my calls. Don't cry. I will, I will call him myself, please. Don't cry. He's not picking. He's not picking. No, look, Nkechi, calm down. I will handle this personally. Eh? I will go to his house and, 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 and deal with him. Our father is a lion. And the cubs of the lion don't go hungry in the, in, in the jungle. Just take it easy. Take it. Stop crying. Nkechi, stop crying. Stop. It's okay. I will handle it. It's okay. So Jonathan cannot give up the money. Okay, Chi. Adana, sit down first. Eh? Sit down now. You cannot come to my house and just stand. I have not come here to sit down. Why have you not given Nkechi the money for her rent? Oh, that. Of course I'll give her. When? I want to know exactly when. I need to... Sort out. If it... Jonathan, when will you stop being a slave in your own house? Keep your voice down. What do you mean you're on my, my voice? I would not do that. Are you the only married man? Look, we're all married and we're not like this to our husbands. Bring your voice down. Make sure no you can go get it. Why must your own be different? I call you Yogi. Eh? Are you under some kind of spell or something? Munye you oji 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 Nkechi, the second daughter of Ezenia, Ome Mwoji, has been thrown into the streets by her poor landlord and, and hungry lawyers in Oliver Nassim. Oh my God. What's it, oh my God? Oh, this is, this is bad news. Uh, this, is, this is bad news. Bad news. Oh, darling. Um, I hear noise in baby's room. Well, why don't you check that she's all right? I'm just coming from there. She's fine. Ah. Jonathan, look me in the eyes. I am going to Kechi's house now. And I expect to see you there in the next one hour. If not, Kechi, that is Umu Nanex. I want to go What was that noise all about? Oh, nothing. You shouldn't worry about that. Oh no, I chose to worry. Why was she commanding you like her half boy? Oh, you should understand that now. She's my big sister. Can you say, so what? Does that give her the right to command you like a half boy? Okay, okay. If you must know, she's upset with me because Nkechi and her family have been thrown into the street by her landlord because she didn't pay her house rent. Uh -huh. Thanks to you. Yes. Is she not married? Why won't her husband pay for his rent? Is my brother paying for this place for us? Okay, let's go ahead and bear their cross for all I care. So that's all you eh? have to say? What do you want me to say? That's all you have to say? Give it to your camp, boy! I don't want to call you. I don't want to call you. I don't want to They should bear their cross for all I care. Okay, lady. No one will be good. So, Janet, 
went and failed to pay the rent as promised. Eh? <sighs> he doesn't even pick my calls. <laughs> You know what? Don't worry. I will go and get a truck and pick up your things and take them to the house. I have already spoken to Papa. But how would we gain access into the house? He said, when I'm ready to pick my things, I should come and collect the key. Hi. Oh, Gilly, what think, is it? I think my husband would be ashamed to want to. Ashamed? Ashamed of what? Kowarinom, ashamed of what? Every man has got pride. Oh, pride. Mm -hmm. Pride. My sister, let me tell you something. There is a time that one should put one's pride aside and ride with the waves. You got even now, why? Are you listening to what I'm saying? My children, I believe I have but a short time to be around. Chidi, my son. Yes, Baba. Do not be troubled. After the rain, the sun will come. I know you are going to come faster than you imagine. Thank you, Baba. But I want to tell you that you are a member of this family. Mm -hmm. I have places where you can pack in your things here. I will be so happy to have you around. Thank you, Papa. I'll forever remain grateful. Uh, Papa. Uh, hello. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Chili. Please. Uh, for the rent, I, I think we will cover it 200,000 now. You have succeeded in acting like a fire brigade who arrived when the entire compound building has been raised to the ground. Get You're it. a shame, a disgrace, and a disappointment to this entire family. Honey, take it easy. Yeah. Your elder brother. Elder brother, my foot. This man is a curse. He is not fit to be called my father's son because he cannot take care of his entire life and his home. He's not worthy to be called my father's son. He then will tell me 200,000 naira just for, for me to do what? Let him be. The will of justice is turning fast. I'm very soon. Papa, please, I'm not going to leave this man alone. He's a disgrace and his, 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 his presence here is irritating and embarrassing. Get it! Get it, be careful the way you talk to me. Did he get me? Today, this house belongs to Papa. Oh, yes, he's around. But someday, just know that someday this house will belong to me. Come on, my papa, now that I have this house, it belongs to you. When it becomes yours, I will never set foot on this compound if it becomes yours. If you then come in, then. Then the shame will be yours. In a while alone. In a while alone. Yes, mama. In a while alone. Take your wife inside. It's alright. Leave me alone, Biko. Leave me alone. If not for my own. If not for your own. If not for my own. Give me a kick in there. 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 Give me Papa, it's alright. Oh, look, it's alright. I'm calling the man. down. Let me talk to you a little bit. I don't know why you should leave your sisters to be disgraced for a paltry sum of money. I was trying to take care of some businesses. When peace needed her school fees, that was what you said. There is no respect again for all the promises, everything you do. So, I have always talked about my afterlife. But you seem to pay deaf ear to it. And I'm not happy about it. See, I want to warn for the last time that the day of reckoning is coming very soon. 
Papa, Papa, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll make amends, Papa. It's all right. We can do this in peace. Or we can do it in pieces. Yes, Doc. Okay. Thank you. So what did the doctor say? He said we should try and bring him to the hospital immediately. By this time. You don't have any other choice, do you? Jude! 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 Yes, sir. Please hurry up. Please, go and get the, the, the keys to the black chief. Immediately, we're coming from this. Maybe you should come and lift him from the side, please. He's heavy up. Hang in there, you guys hang in there. I'll soon be there, okay? Yes, I'm coming right away. Yes. Um, where do you think you're going? The hospital, of course. By this time of the morning. Father is dying. Don't you understand? And you're the one to help him live. Your sisters, Chidi, doctors, and all his nurses won't help him survive but you, eh? I, I, I ought to be there myself. I ought to be there too. Baby, just relax. Papa will be fine. In a couple of hours, it will be morning. Then you can go. Hmm? Just relax. Oh, Nam. Tomorrow morning, you'll be fine. Oh, Nam. 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 Oh, I don't want a magany, or magy one day. I don't want any bata, who don't know my baba. I defend, I don't want any, I don't be, I don't want any, I don't want any bates in the Punaga. How is he? You know, the doctor is really out, just calm down. Good nurse, it's, it's taking so long. I'll calm down. Since that time you called me? It was good. Doctor. How is he? Let's go to my office. What office are you talking about, Doctor? We're not children here now. Say it as it is. Is Papa dead? Yes. He's dead. I don't want a magany or magi one day. 
talking about father's body is lying there in the mortuary you talk about action what kind of action are you talking about nobody lives forever baby as if i don't know is that all you have to say no when the dead is gone the living move on meaning you are the only son of chief isn't liar for goodness sake the inheritor of all he had when he was alive is anybody disputing that You never can tell. Barrister, you must understand that there is always a reason for a man to act. I was running father's businesses for over a decade, so any action I take now is in the best interest of the family. I cannot comprehend why you would put material things first over the repose of your father's soul. If I were you, Barrister, I wouldn't worry for other people. I am his son. You are only his lawyer. I was also his friend. Besides, I do not have what you are asking or looking for. This is becoming ridiculous. If you don't have those documents, then who has? That's a question only your father can answer. Oh, you know my father is late. Dead men don't talk. <laughs> How wrong could you be? For all your presumption, Dead men talk. They talk through their testaments or wills. Barrister, we can meet each other halfway. If you cooperate with me, I will retain you. That is not my priority. Listen, if you are truly his heir apparent, he ought to have confided in you before passing on. After all, your father didn't die suddenly. Did he? We can do this in peace Or we can do it in pieces no matter how you look at it, the real truth is, it's mine, mine forever, all mine, mine it will be, it is mine, no matter what they 
your coming to sympathize with us on uh, our father's uh, passage but um, there's something I want to discuss with the immediate family so if you don't mind I, I, I want you people to just give us a minute just, just a minute Jonathan what's the meaning of this what, what is it these people are here because of papa you have no right to send them away I know, I know, I'm not ordering them out. It's, it's quite important that we sort out this little issue. You know, we will continue what we are doing. There's no problem. So what is so urgent that you have to be so rude? No, 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 I'm not being rude. Just uh, to give us a little, a little time. They can wait for me. Please, uh, Ijeb, please, just uh, one minute. Uh, one minute, please. It's all right, I... I appreciate your uh, Chidi. Just uh, for myself. Sister, can you her? Yes, now he's part of the family. I'm not aware that mother has another son apart from me. He's not going anywhere. Adanne, what I'm trying to do is it, it, it's just something that we have to discuss. What are you going to do? Honey, it's okay. Pick up my friend, Adanne. It's okay, it's okay. Let me excuse you. It's okay. Chidi, what are you going to do? So what is the fire on the mountain? I went to see Papa's lawyer. Eh? Uh -huh. Only for me to discover that the deeds to his properties are no longer with him. Here you are asking for deeds to promise his name marriage to Hey! Shame on you! And Kitty, you don't understand. Relax. I run the business. Trust me, this is serious. Trust you. Trusting you is like trusting a fox. Do you know what you just done, Jonathan? You have disgraced Papa's soul by sending his sympathizers out. What is wrong with you? I'll let that pass. Now, which one of you is in possession of the deed? I don't have them. Ah. Well, what do you mean by mm? Who, who are you referring to as mm? It's not you. Neither do I. Alright, peace. You, you must know who has it. Because you are the one living with Papa all the while. How can I, the baby of the house, know such thing? I don't know. I don't know. One of you must have it! One of you must have it! Woo! <laughs> 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 
Ah. Yeah. So this is the conspiracy. Oh, you all have conspired against me. I will shock you people. Mm. I will tell you that before Lionel Messi, there was Edison Arantes de Nascimento, Pen. Before Captain Kanuwapo, there was German Chris and Chuku Wanena. Before Mutu Adem Oju, there was Mathematica Shegu Odebami. Father said that the captain must wear the badge. And as the captain in this in this house, I will show you people that by the time I finish with you, you will not be in the next. Jonathan, if you like, join all the football teams in Nigeria. Hey, look at join everything, but let me tell you. Before Abraham, Jesus was. You know if I had that, those deeds, I, I won't tell you. Okay. You know, I told you. Deeds. Okay. By the time I finish with two people, you will know that Jonathan. Oh, David and Jonathan. It's even in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Come before Captain Big man wife. I see you're shopping for new curses for your father in law's burial. My dear, it's not my fault. It's not my fault that you're married to a man who cannot pay ordinary rent. He even stays in his father's house. No! Oh, I hear such men are called the dregs of the society. Even dregs are appreciated by men who know the true taste of wine. I can't say the same for your husband. He's a woman rapper. You've so wrapped him round your fingers that he has become a she woman. The lowest of men. Hey! Oh, because I did not allow him to abandon his family and take care of your useless husband. Your good for nothing husband. Shame. Shame. Shame on you. Because you're the shameless one. Shame on you. See this daughter of a farmer that couldn't send his daughter to a school. If my brother Jonathan hadn't married you and sent you to a proper school, would you have known A, B, C, or D? You would have probably been in the village selling tomatoes and hawking bananas and married to a farmer like your father. Your brother knows the quality of a good woman. That is why he came for me. Jay Joy said, Jay Johnny and Jay Joy said. Quality is simple. The qualities are obvious for everybody to see. Go digging on work. It is no surprise you have bewitched my brother. But let me tell you the last words of my father. Tell me. He said, the days of reckoning are here. Ooh, dead men don't bite. You can't scare me with those words, okay? Ugochi. Ugochi, we regret. We regret persuading Mama to allow Jonathan marry him. Look at what you've turned into. Now we realize she was a prophetess. You will soon realize that I am the woman of the moment. Just wait until the burial is over. The Monique. Just wait. Let the burial be over. Ugochi, it's a shame you're so blind to see the handwriting on the wall. But let me tell you something. One day the skills will fall off my brother's eyes and he will realize he's been married to a witch. Darling, what is it? I went shopping for cotton, just like we planned to change the old cottons. And who do I see? Your sharp mounted sister, married to poverty. You went shopping for curtain at this critical time? And I didn't know? Anyway, 
What has my sister got to do with it? Eh? You're backing your sister, eh? You're backing your sisters. Apea, someday you will start marrying them. You are missing the point. I've always supported you and you know it. You know it. And it has created a problem between me and my family. But changing curtains at this critical point in time shouldn't be a priority. But that's what we have planned before the death now. Eh? And how dare you say I, I, I'm creating gap between you and them? How could you say a thing like that? I'm only protecting your interest. From what she said, I'm sure it's obvious they are up to something. What does your father mean by the day of reckoning before he died? Barrister, see, um, apart from retainership, I have something else to offer you. I'm aware that you're about to run for elective office and you may need sponsors. Perhaps. Good. But why did you come back this time? If it is the deed that made you come back to my office, you are in the wrong place. Oh, forget about the deed. I would like to see my father's will. It's important. Jonathan, what is going on? Is there a problem in the family? Because if there's a problem in the family, you can confide in me. I was one of your father's closest confidants. Now check this, Barrister. My father comes to collect the deed from you a couple of weeks before he died. He passes on the deed, so then it disappears. Do you think somebody is playing the fast one on you? Isn't that obvious? Huh? Why and who would that be? If I knew, I wouldn't be here. Too, too bad, Jonathan. Too bad. Unfortunately, no one sees the will three weeks after the burial. And I must respect your father's will as a friend and client. No matter what the pressure. I, uh, I was talking about the election that you are interested in. The elections are concluded. I am the governor's candidate. Guess what? My victory is certain. I don't need your sponsorship. <laughs> but you may need other things. Other things like what, Jonathan? I cannot mortgage the trust your father reposed in me for a mere pack of peanuts or pot of porridge. No. Hmm. Let's see. Now, how can I be sure that my father collected those documents from you? How can I be sure? You and I know that nobody can forge your father's signature. Yes. You be the judge. Another brick wall? Yes. The lawyer didn't agree to show me the will in spite of all my inducements. Hi. Maybe he's in link with them. I never can trust lawyers aspiring for political offices. No, this one is different. He's as clean as a whistle. Hmm. So what's your next move? Search me. That's not how to be a man. A man fights here, he gets his right. That's manliness. Hmm. I'll prove to you girls that I am the man of the house. The only male child that Ezenia ever had. I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that you girls are in possession of the deeds. You are. Man, 
his father's house and a she man in his own house. It was she man. Okay, she stop, stop. Let us not insult Papa's memory by quarreling when his soul is yet to ascend. You got a friend now, boy. Jonathan, what is your problem? I don't have any problem. No problems at all, except for the person who is hiding my birthright. I would have thought that this your birthright you're talking about would include primarily Papa's wish, which you never ever thought of doing. Okay. Not your birthright. Okay. Birthright, my food. No, no, okay. please stop, stop. Okay? Sister, please leave me alone. Let me show this fool a mirror. Let him see himself. If you call me a fool, what then will you call your husband? That wretched, good for nothing, poverty stricken meerkat. Hey. Hey. Just look at this. This. this, this. You call yourself a man. Nico, hey! So you do not know that in the ranking of men, my husband towers over you like a man. Get it right now. She, man. Get it enough. She, what are she? Get it enough. No, 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 the documents are in my possession. Are you satisfied? Sat How can I be? I'm upset. So, you are the one who had been withholding my birthright. Hi. Until we read Papa's will, we will know what belongs to whom. I am the heir apparent, will or no will, except if you have decided to constitute yourself as Ndichi, Council of Elders, to change tradition. I am in no position to change tradition. But if the tradition is changed, I think Papa should be held responsible for that. What are you trying to insinuate? What Sister is trying to say is that when men have refused to be men, the wise elders will make men of women. Ah, so this is the plot. Eh? This is the plot. Hi. So my wife was right. My wife was right. I tell you, there will be no burial until my birthright is restored to me by you, Loretta. And after that, you will prove to the police how those documents got into your possession. Hey, 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 I don't know how you cope with your family. I believe it is much better you go and uh, look after your family. Papa, it's okay. My husband is not complaining. He understands that I have to take up this role in mother's absence. I'm making adjustment to my will. Open that drawer and give me the black file there. This one? Mm. This one? Yes. In this file, you can see the deed of all the landed properties I have. Oh. Papa, what do you want me to do with them? You will keep it. You remember what I have been telling you, brother, about uh, the captainship of a football team? Yes, Papa. Your brother has failed, and I am benching him. I want to hand you over the captain's band. What do you mean, Papa? Uh, what I mean is that I am handing over all my properties to you and your sisters. You should look after them. Hmm? But, uh, Papa, uh, you're not leaving us yet. I'm not going to be 
there for so long. I'm not going to be there for so long. And uh, take care of your sisters. It is only a male child who has uh, proved his metal can enjoy the tradition of uh, inheritance. You have put more caring than a son, and I am disregarding that tradition. But Papa, look, th 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 this is a complex matter. What if trouble comes, Papa? Uh... The properties are mine, and it is my discretion who inherits them. I can no longer be a slave to any tradition that has proved unprofitable. Papa, what if Jonathan comes to fight for his inheritance? My will will back you up. What more proof do you need? Why should I believe you? Why? Are you trying to say that sister is a liar? She is not a liar. And for your information, Papa was very smart. Smarter than you, you think. Something you can never, ever, ever think of, or, 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 or being. You know, well, I wasn't life. talking to you. I what? wasn't talking to you, okay? Also, when now, why you I must respond to you, I will talk. If they refuse to talk, I will talk. And I am a boy. We shall see. Abanka, Afosia, Afodeba. I don't know why you're being so. I just don't know why you're being so. Mkechi. Yeah, okay, okay, many people. Oh, 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 see, oh, oh, Mkechi, I can't hear you, Papa. Listen to me. I'm going to hold it for now. You heard what he said. We were very Papa. Okay. Onyana numani, bebe luchuku. On a pogiko, if I nana fool, I don't want a magany, or magi one day, I don't want any bata, who don't know my baba. I defend, I don't want I don't be, I don't want I don't want any bates in the Pulaga. You went on, I don't want I don't want I don't want I don't want any bates in the I don't want any I don't want any I don't want 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 Somo somo, soya soya, modinjo modima, ajo wanya churima. Baby, why are you crying? Are you shedding tears for Papa? He was over 80 years for crying out loud. It's called glorious exit. I wasn't crying because of Papa's exit. I was crying because I realized how much I failed him. How much he labored so hard to give us the good life. And now I can't, I can't keep up his legacy. I can't maintain his legacy. That's why I feel so bad, so deep inside me. I feel hurt. May I ask how you came about that conclusion? Don't. Don't, because you know it. You know everything. You are at the heart of my failure. Are you okay? Or are you having mood swing? Stop play acting. Don't, don't play games with me, because you know what I'm talking about. It's okay. Just calm down. I can understand if the recent event is getting on your nerves. What, what bloody event? What bloody event? Okay. Well, the part you didn't know is that we've lost everything we would have inherited from Papa. Oh yes, we have. Thanks to your selfishness and greed. Baby, do you know... No, baby, baby! Don't blame me at all. It's because of you, we lost everything. Because you wouldn't let me perform my duty to my sisters. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, Mama, I knew they were behind it. They won't stop until they spoil our home. My sisters did nothing. 
They didn't do anything. I failed. And you made me fail. And what did father do? He willed everything to my sisters. Yes. Oh. It's not I wasn't talking to you. Biko, Biko, kwa. Just keep those angelic manners for your Sunday mass. How can you feel some sort of pity for or someone who does not have any regard for you? Biko, let me hear. You should have seen him getting into his car. He was like a child about to cry after a bully must have deprived him of his toy. It would be so nice to actually see tears run down Jonathan's face. Ah, uh, honey, don't be so mean. He's still your elder brother. As it is now, I do not envy those who do not have elder brothers. Jonathan is still your elder brother. Still your elder brother. It is! <laughs> What are you doing here? Won't you come to bed? Come to bed and cause you more problems. Please just leave me alone. It's okay, I'm sorry for whatever I said. The, the tension is too much. There are no tensions. It's bad enough that I'm married to a weakling, pushed around by his family. I never knew I'm also married to a fool. Me? A fool? Ugochi? Me? Tell me, is it not foolishness that will make you believe that your father gave those properties to your sisters? Is it not foolishness? Have you seen the will? Have you seen it? Or haven't you heard of doctored wills? Say, 
Your sisters and families. Oh, my journey was very smooth. It was a smooth journey. Oh, for my sisters, they send their regards. They are fine. Oh, God. Ha! Thank you, oh Lord. But even though my brother is with you, ha, he's also here with me in the person of his son, Jonathan. Yes. Huh? <laughs> oh, we will sorrow you, my son. But now that I see you, I declare this day a day of joy. Yes, indeed. Ah. It's a day of joy. You're okay. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. Uh, so how's everything generally? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm Tonight, we'll be meeting with the elders of the kindred to arrange for the final burial rite. As for the church, the priest will give us a date now that you are here. Okay. I have paid all my late brothers uh, as the levies with the money you sent and they are prepared to give him a grand burial. Aye, uh, uncle. Hey, thank you so much. What could I have done without you? You see, you've taken care of almost everything, uncle. Hey, I'm so happy. Well, you don't mention, you don't mind. I am doing my work. I'm only doing my duty. My brother, your father, was a pillar of strength and support to this family and to the entire kingdom. Eh? Nobody forgets the role he played in the construction of Access Road to this town. Hmm? Everyone is ready to give him the burial of the century. Wow. <laughs> Uncle, I'm glad to hear that, really. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, but there's something uh, I want to discuss with you, you know. I want you to clarify a little matter for me, since my father didn't do that before he passed on. Go ahead and speak boldly, for I'm, I, I sit in his place here. Good. Uncle, please, under what circumstance can a man will his entire property to his female children, even when he has male children? or even one child, a male child, who is still alive. I can't remember any circumstance. No. I don't think there's any reason whatsoever for such trampling of tradition. There is nothing like that at all? It's not done. Are you sure? But what are you getting at? So, let's take a walk. My son, the whole mark of a man is one who makes a mistake, realizes it, admits it publicly and determines to correct it. My brother acted in anger and I'm persuaded in my heart that he would have changed his mind had he lived much longer. I also realized I was foolish. After all, we all came from the same womb. You know, I've been tortured in my soul since after his death. Let not your spirit be troubled, my soul. Huh? To err is human, while to forgive is divine. My brother is resting in the bosom of the Lord. He must have forgiven you. Yeah, but does that avail anything? What's, what's, what's done is done. No, my son. 
men rule the earth. They make the laws. They change them. Huh? And sometimes they break them. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> yes. Tradition will take preeminence in everything concerning my brother. That I assure you. Okay. In our tradition, the son becomes the father. And that's why we are gathered as the custodians of our traditions and culture. Wait a minute, Norbert. Do you think Ezena was in the right frame of mind when you made that decision? Ezena was sick for a long time. And besides, those that live in the city mix with different kinds of people. That's it, I often borrow foreign and strange cultures. So you don't blame Ezenia for that. And that's why we in the village here must uphold our traditions as custodians. So under any or all circumstances, our tradition must be preserved. If our brother acted in error, it is our duty to correct him so that his soul will pass peacefully to our ancestors. Because if we fail in our duty, <laughs> the gods will never forgive us. Who can withstand the wrath of the gods? To fear what? Not me. Not me either. No, but you brought this matter before us. And you must ensure that whatever we decide here must be carried to the letter. Because we lack the character, strength and wisdom to fight the gods. Um, no, but. Those girls are like your children. They will listen to you. Okrade akare kwa nyan Korean. Ngbo. Okrade akare nyan Korean. It is only the stubborn fly that follows the corpse to the graves. Ezenia must go to his grave alone so that he can live peacefully. On again mono ge. Um well, thank you so much. I've had your contributions. Well, I'll show you one thing. I must do according to all we have agreed here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's by the way. The son brought some gifts for you. For us? I What you want to give me? I am a you are you set to go? Oh yes, I'm set to go. Uh, when next I'm coming, I will bring gifts for the parish priest. Yes, when we're coming for the final burial. Good thinking, too good thinking, good thinking. Uh, and please, tell your sisters I send my regards and condolences. Eh? Tell them we shall be having a special family meeting as soon as the burial rites are over. I, I will, Uncle. I will. And uh, again, please, be careful about your wife. Don't give her the impression that she's the cause of all the trouble because a solution is on the way. Oh, thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you. <laughs> Here. Another 50,000 naira. Huh? You gave me 100,000 uh, just yesterday. That was for the burial preparations. This one is especially for you. You see, as our new father, one must make sure that you live decently. <laughs> well, thank you. You surely are the true son of my brother. Thank you. Huh? Uh, forget the past mistakes. Huh? May God guide you. Amen. Huh? Amen. Through this journey and through all those things. <laughs> Uncle, you make things so easy. Hmm. You know, you make mountains look like anthills. You see, my son, the reason God keep elders in the family is to ensure that children do not mistake a vulture uh, for a kite. Huh? 
God bless you. Let it be as we discussed. I'm going home. I'm going home. That's good. Good morning, Mr. Ezenia. Good morning. How was your trip to the village? Fine. But, um, how did you know that I went to the village? <laughs> I guess I should know what is going on in the house of my client and friend. But what I do not know is the day you have fixed to bury him so that I can come and pay my last respect to him. Well, 16th and 17th of next month. Oh, that is good. Then I should come with all the lawyers in my chambers. And I guess the 7th of December will be the day I will read the will. Forget it. What? I said forget the will. It is no longer necessary. No longer necessary? How do you mean? It's been overtaken by events and uh, superior family decision. No, that is impossible. Because it is only the will I can stop the execution of his will. In that case, your father is dead. And dead men don't talk or act. Barita, Barita, listen to me, please. If we ever need your services again, we will invite you, we will communicate. But for now, please, okay? Hello? Hello? Jesus Christ. Madam Copachon, this is your uniform. Um, I hope it fits you because there was no way we could have taken your measurements while you were at the orientation camp. It doesn't fit me. I'll simply wear a black t-shirt and a black jeans. I say, now lie. If it doesn't fit you, you will go to the tailors and make it. I hope you make it in the concert. Ah, barista. Hey, you're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome to our humble home. <laughs> I don't think uh, you've met my younger sister, Peace. Hmm. She's the baby of the family. And I am proud to say, a chemical engineer. <laughs> <laughs> she was a toddler last time I saw her. <laughs> this is a How time flies. Yes. Yes. As must have been a blessed man. Oh, yes. How are you, my dear? Thank you. <laughs> the young has grown. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, so, what do we offer the learned man? Actually, this is not a social visit. Oh, really? Yes. Your brother told me something disturbing, and I decided to come to the house to find out from you girls. What is it? Is it true that the family has decided to ignore your father's will? <laughs> now, what on earth is that fox up to this time around? <laughs> ah, Barrister. I won't deny nor confirm that until my father's body is put to rest. The repose of his soul is more important to me than all the properties in this world. Chid, this is not you. This is not you. How can this be me? Just imagine, I spent the whole day looking for ordinary 10,000 naira to buy a good that I used to bury my father in love who has been so nice to me. I understand. Believe me, I do. And I've been thinking about this so. And I only came to one conclusion. Much as I want you to honor my father during the burial, I will not let you kill yourself. You will not kill yourself. Yes, but I have to do it. If not, I will lose face before your people. Of course, you will do it. Miss again, miss. Take. Buy a cock and some drinks. Cock? Uh-huh. Buy a cock. I don't see the difference between a fowl and a goat. 
All that is required is for you to present an animal which they will kill. What's the meaning of this? Have you come here to insult us? Is my father as and are now so cheap in your own estimation that you come to his funeral with a sickly looking chicken? A chicken for his and his funeral. Chidi. It's a last result, my brother. I will come with the car if I have You shouldn't have come at all. This is an insult. This is shame. It's an insult to my father's image. Yeah, why are you making a mountain out of a mole here? Why? Oh, tell your husband to get away from here. Why is he coming here to infest everybody with his poverty? As the only blow you know, Mama Zife. My husband is not poor. He's just going through a phase. Okay, lady. I'm wrong, can I wake up? It's okay, Jonathan. What's wrong with you? Eh? I'll come over here. Exactly. Eh? And I think you are wrong by addressing your brother in law in the public like this. I'll go for him to come to my father's funeral with chicken. It's an insult to his memory. I mean, the man will be turning in his grave by now. Yeah, Look, eh? my brother, I know, isn't there? Wouldn't have minded. Eh? Modesty was his greatest uh, attribute. Uh, Uncle, I'm not part of this one, no. I'm not part of this one. If he if didn't like your offer. Thank you. 
Uzugochi doing here? This is close family meeting, sister Iman. Inna kakus. Tight, tight. Inna, inna, inna. Oswa. She is tight. family. She's, she's family. She is my wife and therefore she is family. Oh, sorry, yo. Uncle Noba. You have heard now. Inugonian. Please just give us a little time, oh? Let's go and bring our husband. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. This is now family. What is wrong with this girl? Family. Sit down. What is she saying? Abu was in a car. Uncle, did you hear that nonsense? I'm a shiano. Uncle is not deaf. And what in case she's saying is right? Uh huh. In case you're not. Oh, God, is it? Huh. You're not going to say that. All right. Yes. All right. In case you're doing it. It's okay. She is not family. She must leave. What's Gozia? Um, Gucci. Please leave us in the interest of peace. Huh? Go family meeting. No, in a kaku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back on the bank. I'm, I'm a. Eh? In case I got this itch. Hmm. Ah, oh, monna. Omo na meeting, meeting of Omo, Omo, Ofunna, Ofunna. It's alright, Nkechi. It's okay. Uh huh. Can we say the meeting? My children, let me start by asking you one simple question. Do you know why my brother, your late father, called his last child? Then I will tell you, peace is the only virtue that guarantees progress. And I believe that my brother wanted peace to reign in his home, even after he is gone. And from my personal experience, peace, there is no price too high to pay for peace. Uncle, as you keep, Uncle, as you keep, you are right. Now I know that wisdom resides in the old. Thank you, my daughter. And it takes one naturally endowed with wisdom to recognize wisdom. And as I was saying, death is a bad thing. But the only good thing about it is that it awakens the living to their responsibilities and purposes of life. Thank you once more, my daughter. I want to tell you girls, I want to let you know that your brother here, Jonathan, has admitted to me how he was misled to mistreat you. <laughs> Upe. Yes. He has realized his mistakes. And because blood is thicker than water, the spirit of my brother is in there. We make God to unite you once more. Let bygones be bygones. Who? Oh? Uncle Norbert, um, you have indeed spoken well. I, I, I don't think there's even anything more for me to add. But I know you also desire for peace to reign in Ezenia's family. My dear sisters. Like Uncle said, Peace is the only virtue that guarantees progress. Even our nation's motto emphasizes it. Unity and faith, peace and progress. What else can I ask for, for this family, now that there is no more there? But to ask for peace. Skills covered my eyes before, but when I watched as then they are lowered into the grave. Oh, the scales fell off. And now I realize that we must live in peace. I urge you, let's come together. 
and let that peace return to this family, please. No, brother, stand up now. How can you kneel before us? This is an abomination now. Mechiamu! What abomination? Asomia! Asoka se mumwaru! Amusima la wenwa! If it's not the name of the man! I'm uncle if I'm a mother! I'm not the uncle! So, please sit down. Do that sit down, please. I can see the soul of my brother rejoicing in the bosom of the Lord. Yes. So, I believe that this peace must be permanent in this house. My daughter, you remind me so much of your mother. I see your mother in you. Huh? Kind, generous, and very attentive to everyone, both rich and poor, not minding my brother's word. You see, was it not for your graceful disposition, we wouldn't have been enjoying the peace we now enjoy in the family? Come on, Uncle. You should not give me the credit that is due to you. You know, Papa told us that you used to bear one nickname when you were young. Justice and peace. Am I right? Don't make me cry, my daughter. I am too old to shed tears. Shed the tears, uncle. I know they are tears of joy. Mm, then they are tears of sorrow. Sorrow? Sorrow disappeared after the burial. Not that. Is it near? Is it near? Oh. Oh. He promised to send me on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. And by now, before he took air, and by now, I would have been the Ray JP, Jerusalem pilgrim. But here am I. It is still possible, Uncle. Jonathan is doing very well in his business. Aha! That reminds me, Ada. Jonathan told me that your father, my brother, gave you guests all his landed properties. I know he must have been very angry. He was. Mm. Anyway, our father and your grandfather used to tell us that anything done in anger is done in error. <laughs> huh? But I know that my brother must have been so ill that he did not remember that admonishment from our father. I won't blame him. Neither do I blame him. I don't blame him. But one thing I know, every human error can be corrected in the interest of peace. True. Ah. Right, Loretta, do you trust me? Trust you, Uncle? You've never given me any reason to distrust you. <laughs> then, Loretta, I want you to correct this error. <laughs> Our tradition forbids it. And even though we are Christians, the gods are still alive and they are in full charge of their traditional rules. Uncle, I don't understand. Those properties belong to him. Look, Uncle, I, I don't know why you're saying all this, but I, just, I don't understand. Just don't mind, daughter. Ada, go go. Think over this. I trust you. I know you are a very responsible woman. You would normally do justice to it. Just go. OK, Uncle. No, no, I said no. Uncle Noba is taking this thing too far. We must respect Papa's last wish. Sister, your shout. My friend, shut up before Mabo Ganya. Anyway, Uncle Noba says it's contrary to tradition. 
Besides, Jonathan has changed. Eh? Changed Guinea? And what a cake tradition are we talking about? Are you sure Jonathan was not putting up an act? And he must have been putting up that act just because of this purpose? <laughs> hey! Sister brother, Jonathan is not that evil. That his wife Ugochi is the evil in him, and you know. Eh, uh -huh, now. And he's still married to Ugochi. And Ugochi can still change him. Look, I think we should give this a chance. Mba! No! Listen, Nkichi. It's not that I totally agree with what Uncle Noba is saying. No. All I'm saying here is that. Sister, everything is worth giving a try. As long as it will unite this family. No, no. It's okay. Holy word. Peaceful peace. You people can give him your share. As for me, I'm keeping my own. Shalom. Hey! Ekweke, ekwe. Ona adoka panarota. Nkechi. Hmm. Ekwe nsuamu eji ma o. Ha? Ekwe nsuamu eji ma. No, 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 Uncle, Uncle. There must be a mistake here. Jonathan, the girls are right. You are a devil. Now I know you are evil. Hey! I don't know you again. Don't know you again, in short. Let, let me explain. Explain what? I did tell them to do this. Hey! There must be a... Let me Jonathan, you are lying, Jonathan. I, I swear. I you listen to me, I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear for what? What manner of man are you? Swearing and begging women. What are you swearing for? Why are you begging them? Get me in a yellow bag. You don't understand. Why are you swearing? Why are you 